Hello fellow hunters and welcome to today's video. So today I want to talk about the last type of animals that weren't featured in any of my videos so far, ducks and geese. They're quite easy to find and hunting for them is not that challenging, so I haven't paid much attention to this part of the game in the past. But first I want to thank you for your support. My small project now has over 500 subscribers. A big thank you for your comments, likes and support. At the end of the video I will talk a bit more about my plans and the future of the channel. But now to today's topic. I received some questions I would like to address here because they are relevant for today's video. The first question was what type of dog is the best in the game. I wouldn't say there is a best dog, it depends on the situation. Take one of the retrievers for hunting ducks and geese for example. Only these dogs can fetch small prey out of the water, that's important. The pointer does not bark when he smells animals, that can be useful for hunting rabbits. And the beagle is a cute all-rounder for general hunting and tracking. For infos like this, you can also check the wiki in the hunting lodge, there is a lot to read at the bookshelf. The next question is related to shotguns, what is the best model and what I would recommend. Here I would say the same, it depends on the situation. Basically there are two calibers, 12 gauge and 20 gauge. Since shotguns in Huntsman 2 are only legal for small game, there is not much difference in the results between the two in my opinion. I think capacity and clip size and the repeating type is more important. There are double barrel break action models, manual repeating weapons, pump action shotguns and semi-automatic models. If you are targeting ducks and geese for example and want to shoot them mid-air, I would recommend a semi-automatic shotgun with high capacity, so you are more flexible if a few shots miss. Hopefully this answers your questions in a helpful way. Finding the birds is relatively easy. Most species are native to pony meadows and you don't have to spend a lot of time searching for them. All three species of ducks are found here. Mallard duck, blue winged teal and green winged teal. Also three of the four geese live in this region. Snow goose, ross goose and white fronted goose. Everything I'll show today happens in the morning time slot. When entering the map you will notice small ponds near the main cabin. Let your dog wait for now and sneak to the first pond. On the way you will probably see the first birds in the air. They fly over the area frequently and land in the ponds. You can affect this by using the corresponding callers. There are two types of callers for ducks and two for geese with different effects. If you observe these waters you will quickly find all species I mentioned before. I won't go into detail about shooting, it's up to you if you want to wait until birds land on the water or if you want to shoot them in the air. If you just want your trophies, then it's easier to wait until they land. But be sure to take one of the retrievers with you as a companion, otherwise you won't get your prey out of the water. The last bird on our list is the Canada Goose. For this we head out to Cheshire Marshlands. In the northern area above the main cabin we see some lakes and many small ponds. Beside other bird species we can also find Canada geese here. The shallow water of the small ponds is a big advantage because we don't need a retriever in most cases. It is much faster here to get the prey out of the water because we don't have to wait for the dog. So that was easy, you can collect all trophies in a few minutes and you are one step closer to the achievement. If I remember correctly, you also unlock a special weapon if you claim one of every animal. I'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly, but I'm talking about the Azure Eloge. It's a beautiful decorated double barrel shotgun, a similar model is included in the Beretta Weapon Pack DLC. Now let's talk about my plans for the future of this channel. Last year was very difficult overall. There was a lot going on and I had long breaks without new content. I guess this year will probably not be easier. Recently I played around a bit with YouTube Shorts. It's an interesting option when I don't have much time for longer videos and a good utilization for footage I wouldn't have used otherwise. So I will try to cover possible content breaks in this way. I also tested YouTube's live streaming option. My main problem is that it's hard for me to plan a reliable schedule for this feature. So I have to think about it a bit more to find out what might be possible. For a general schedule on videos, one release a month is probably realistic. 
I try to post a video every two weeks or so, but I can't promise that it always will work that way. Regarding the games, I can say that I don't plan to stop Huntsim 2 in the near future. I still have ideas for videos from you on my to-do list and I just like the game too much to abandon it. Every now and then I'll do something with Deer Hunter 2005, even though interest seems to be pretty low. It's my all-time favorite and will always have a special place on this channel. On the other hand, I'm still interested in Way of the Hunter, it seems to be a solid game. But I don't see that I have time right now to dive into a completely new game deep enough to create helpful content. There are much larger channels out there, they can cover the more popular games like Call of the Wild and Way of the Hunter better than I can. But maybe I will find some time for a new game, we will see. So now you know what you can expect this year on my channel. I would appreciate if you follow me on this journey. If you want to know what's going on and if I'm working on a new video, check my accounts on Twitter and Instagram. I post updates frequently and you can find the links in the banner on my channel. And that brings us to the end of today's video. For questions and feedback leave me a comment below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and subscribe. Thank you for your support.